So now let's go back. Okay, that was our deposit side. Now, let's look at our checks. Um, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to see what checks have been cashed and see if they're on our check register. And our very first one here, the number is 301 and it was dated 37 for the amount of $200. Now notice our next check is 633 and when we're looking at our check register it is 633. Um, this 301, check number 301 was probably written quite some time ago and as long as a check has not been cashed it has to be carried on your bank reconciliation from month to month to month until it actually does get cashed because remember you know, you're writing that check for let's say it's you know four months ago so in your register you're taking that money out yeah that means that extra money in this case here two hundred dollars is still sitting in that bank statement but it's been tagged for it to be removed when that check gets cashed if you decide to just void the check or get you know void it from your check register then if somebody comes along and cashes that check for 301 well you don't have that money in your account anymore you haven't accounted for it so that check even though it was written quite some time ago on your check register um, check number 301 in the amount of two hundred dollars Okay, even though it's been written some time ago, it's still on your check register and has not ha been highlighted or have a check mark next to it, um, and it, you need to carry it carry it through. So now, finally, that check gets cashed. Well, you go back and you highlight it, showing that it's been you know it, it has been cashed. So in this case here, you know they didn't show it on the check register, but it is there, and you would keep that uh, check as a running balance, and you know clear it off since it's been cashed. Okay, I hope that you know you understand that. Again, just as a recap, anything that you write in your check register, if it doesn't show up on your bank statement, you have to keep you know it stays there. You can't just get rid of the money. Okay. Uh, you have to keep it there and carry it forward from each statement one to the next to the next to the next and I've seen it happen where a check has been cashed for an entire year right? um, generally what you would want to do is if it's sitting on your bank statement for like two or three months then you might contact the person um, and find out why the check hasn't been cashed uh, maybe it was lost in the mail who knows they didn't know about it you know a whole bunch of reasons and you would get it uh, you know reconciled you know void one out rewrite another one whatever okay um, and you wouldn't let it carry through for a whole year um, but I know uh, some things like uh, you know when you're sending like taxes to the government right well it might not show up um, as being cashed for a good six or eight months you know that's not unusual and you need to carry that uh, that check for each and every account each and every uh, month as you do your bank reconciliations okay so let's continue on and so I have check number 633 in the amount of six thousand uh, dollars there's the check so I'm gonna highlight that um, 634 in the amount of three hundred dollars Ah, now I don't have a check for six hundred and uh, six thirty-four in the amount of three hundred. That check is actually one thousand and twenty dollars. So obviously that's a discrepancy. There's something wrong there, right? And I'm going to have to make an adjustment for for that. And you'll see how I do that when we move to the when we're actually doing that work. All right. So I'm going to leave that as not highlighted at the moment. All right. Six thirty-five for two hundred. There's check six thirty-five for two hundred. Highlight that. 636 for 200 there it is 637 for 2200 and this is the daily balance so they were those were all the checks that we had now notice that I have here um, for Sears Roebuck you know 638 for 572 um, I have all of these additional checks well they are not on the bank statement. Okay. 
so I'm going to have to end up putting them on the bank statement and you'll see that in just a second all right but let's go down here and look at this particular check all right 634 now we had said in our check register that it should be um, a thousand and twenty dollars right? but we're only showing that it was cashed um, for three hundred dollars right? well that means that it's we're over uh, we're we've taken out one thousand and twenty dollars uh, I'm sorry, we're, we've taken out seven hundred and twenty dollars. That's one thousand twenty less the three hundred gives us seven hundred and twenty dollars. So we've actually taken out seven hundred and twenty dollars more than we should have. So we have to add that back in to our uh, balance. So we make that as an addition of seven hundred and twenty dollars. Okay, well, let me go over that real quickly again. You know, we've taken out, we've sh we're showing we've taken out a thousand and twenty, but we the bank only took out three hundred. That means we've deducted from our check register an additional seven hundred and twenty dollars. That shouldn't be there. All right, so we're going to add that back in in order to m match the three hundred dollars on the bank statement that was taken out now again I would call health food see what happened um, and make any kind of adjustments you know with them if I have to write another check I'd write another check or whatever right but all we're doing is the reconciliation right now okay so that's our checks now we move over to our charges and I have a service charge for check printing of uh, 2850 it's I don't see anything like that on my check register, so I'm going to have to add, you know deduct that. I have health insurance, electronic fund charge of 722. That is not on my check register, so I'm going to have to deduct that from my check register. And I have a non-sufficient fund charge of $104. I don't see that on my check register. Remember, these are charges that have money taken out of my bank statement that I haven't shown taken out of the my balance on my check register so I'm going to have to go and deduct those from my balance uh, so let's see here so I had a deduction of 2850 and I had a deduction of 104 and I had a deduction of 722 By the way, these brackets are the accounting way of writing a minus, a deduction. Um, that's just me. I'm an accountant, so uh, that's the way I write them. I don't put a, a little minus sign. Right? All right, so that's all of the, uh, the things that have, the transactions that I have. Oops, back up. Sorry. Right, let's go back one more. Those are all of the things that have occur that are on my bank statement that are not on my check register and I've needed to adjust you know these here deposits the adjustment for this one check and these adjustments for my uh, for my charges these are things on my bank statement that are not on my check register that I need to put on my check register okay so that was the first thing that we do all right that's half of it all right now the other half is well we're going to look at our bank statement and what is on our check register that is not on the bank statement. Well, we have to adjust our ending balance. Uh, sorry. We have to adjust our ending balance right there um, by, that, by anything on that, that register. So when we're looking at our register here, we saw that we had this here deposit has not been is not on our bank statement and we have all of these here checks that are not on our bank statement so we need to come over to the bank statement and put those in right? so I have a deposit of three thousand three hundred and eighty three dollars and twenty six cents 
Okay, that's that. Now I'm going to do these here checks right here. Okay, 572, 638, 166, 406, and 917. Right. Again, they're checks that have been written that haven't been cashed at the at the bank. And again, if I had an outstanding check like this here, one for 301, that was written a long time ago, I would also have to include that. But right now, because we've this check 301 was cashed, I don't need to, to worry about that.